Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 18 of Let's Play Pac-Man World, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. If everything goes according to plan, this should be the second and final now, episode. Here's the guy you've all been waiting for. Let's hear it for Pac-Man! Plans for the last time, Pac-Man! Last time, I'm only interfering with him for the first time. This is the first time I'm seeing you. Unless some of those other Pac-Man games that I played and didn't like. Alright, final boss! Let's do this! It's us against Talkman. Okay, so as you can see how this is gonna go, we get these pellets. Apparently he has our own attacks. So it looks like my best method of attacking him is, well, do that. Ugh. You also have to dodge these ghosts. Oh, apparently the shockwave was... Okay, so he has that health bar over there to his left. And, well, you gotta pay attention to that. I don't know if I'm actually doing damage, so it looks like the health bar is kind of the same. Oh my god, that shockwave, it lingers! Yeah, it's flashing, but it's not doing damage, so I think I need, like, a charged attack. I don't have enough, I think you need at least ten. Oh, but the pellets don't stay around long enough! You have to wait for the shockwave to go away. And by the time you get there, it's too late! Okay, I think that might have did something. So yeah, if you're on critical health, your friends will actually help you out, which is pretty nice. However, you only get this six times. Okay, rev rolling is not gonna... Oh my god, I've taken way too many hits. How much did I damage him? Like, twice? You can just tell looking at his health bar. When you see, like, some bars that are actually faded black, that means he's taking damage. Oh my god, that still trailed? Oh, this is gonna be a tough battle. I've had people warn me that Talkman was gonna be a pain in the ass. They weren't lying. That one gave me very few pellets. Okay. He actually hit the ground, but nothing happened. Don't tell me his attacks are glitched. Why is there very few pellets? Is it because they're out of bounds? Oh, maybe I only needed seven for this. No? I need more. Maybe I have to get closer for him to do that attack. Okay, now he's not even releasing them at all. Maybe regular attacks can work. But no, I only damage him when I use the power attack. Oh, don't tell me I broke the boss. Okay, I have to shoot him like several times. So I don't have to use a charge move. It just helps. Okay, I oh, the ghost got me. I haven't got him to like his new attacks yet. He only releases one. Again, you don't have much time to reach it. Oh, man, I'm sucking so badly. Okay, that's how you actually attack. Ah! Okay, I gotta hit. Oh, my timing is so bad. Okay, there we go. Gotta use the magnets against him. Head. Boom! Every 
timing is good. You can just hit the switches and then avoid his shockwaves at the same time. Okay. I think I'm actually picking things up now. But I recovered too much health too fast. I need to start saving those recovers for later. But because I've been doing so bad in the first phase, that I've used up so much, that I gotta make less mistakes. Okay, six more hits, he's dead. There's one annoying thing about the later bosses, like this one and Chrome Keeper. Yes, I'm calling him Chrome Keeper, despite me calling him Chrome Dome a few times. The bosses, like, have way too much health. Okay, last phase. Okay, he's gonna start using his own rev roll attack on me. And then when he's dizzy, hit him. You can also, like, hit him while he's doing that spin. You don't have to wait for him to actually get dizzy. And you don't even have full charge, so there. That's actually the easy part. There, I won. Basically, Pac-Man just pulled a power pellet out of his butt and ate it. He ate his own crap. That's basically what it's saying here. Okay, you unlock these outtakes and they're not that funny. Marker. So let's watch. Uh, action. Someone catch that thing and get Junior out. You know, he can't breathe. Pack entry, take one. Marker. And action. Hot. Uh, Pack eats Orson, take seven. Who actually Marker. wears a jacket like that anyway? Action. He chokes on it. <laughs> Come on, Pac-Man. This isn't your first power pellet. Ah, tuck, stomp, take three. Marker. Action. Look, here I am. <laughs> and almost killed me. Mother! Cut. Robots don't have feelings. Take two. Marker. Action. <laughs> okay, that bar was funny. Now he looks like the yellow devil from Mega Man. Marker. And action. That's a wrap. Okay, some of them were kind of funny, but just weird. I mean, some people would say, oh, it's not funny because they're not real people. You're not wrong. You know what? I think we actually got time to do the classic Pac-Man run. So this will be the final episode rather than the second from last. Let's see how far I can get with just three lives. Yeah, they're actually using, like, an arcade ROM for this. Hopefully it works. Ah, there we go. And there's Blinky... Pinky, Inky, Clyde? Yes. Oh, doesn't this take you back? Oh, yeah. 
This is like classic Pac-Man at its finest. Using like an actual arcade ROM for this, oh god. Nom nom the ghosts! Or have them get away from me. Let's see how far I can get on three lives. If you press select, you can give yourselves give yourself more lives. Oh my god, the ghosts are getting away from me, except for that one. Oh! Are you kidding me? Seems how this won't last very long, because, you know, I suck at Pac-Man. I'll probably give it a couple tries before I end the Let's Play off. So what are my final thoughts of Pac-Man World? I actually thought it was a decent game. Yes, it was hard as hell. I mean, some parts well, were absolute cheap, but it still, like, offered a pretty good experience. Like, you have, like, a nice bit of respect for Pac-Man for all the stuff he goes through. To know that Namco can make a Pac-Man game that is not just about, you know, like, simple arcade where you're just gobbling pellets and nomming ghosts and stuff. Where they can make games that are entirely different. I know there was a platforming game similar to Pac-Man World. I think it was for the Genesis of Super Nintendo. And there was another game where you actually had to watch Pac-Man and control him. And he gets all anal over the tiniest things. I did not like that game at all. It was just god-awful. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. The final world was actually the best part, believe it or not. That or the space level? Oh god. Oh god, they're catching up to me. They're catching up to me! Oh, Clyde just gave me an opening. What an idiot. Could have had me there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, they just leave me alone. At least the ghosts in Pac-Man World were smarter. Did I get another extra life? That's cool. Yeah, I'm actually doing better. Oh uh, yeah. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Spoiler: I don't get him because he, he's right there. I believe the further you go, the faster the ghosts get. And, of course, you get different fruit that offer you more points. Oh, and they recover even faster, too. I forgot about that. Oh, God. Yeah, the ghosts are faster. And they don't stay in that little cage for very long. As soon as they get in there, they're coming after you. You know, ghosts, they want your blood. Okay, we got all the power pellets gone. That's not good. So I still got the top half of this map to do. Eh. Oh, that was smart! You knew I was going through the rice, so I was going to cut me off! Too bad you wasted that opportunity, but wow! The intelligence level is getting a bit high. Oh, we got oranges again. Oh, wow. As soon as they turn blue, they start flashing. Look at this! Like, little time whatsoever to get them. Oh, yeah, Pinky got me. Alright, so maybe this will only be one run. Given that I've gotten much further than I thought I would. Yeah, let's make this a one run. Doing really well. For a change. Then again, when was the last time you guys even seen me play Pac-Man? Probably never. So you don't even know my actual skill level in it. Okay, it's still oranges, but the point value does uh, go up. Alright, this is where it all comes apart at the seams. I don't really want to give myself more lives in the middle of a run. That would just seem kind of cheap. So, I'm just going to consider this my last chance. Unless I get some extra lives normally. Which is not that hard, actually. I mean, I just got to keep getting some points. Um, yeah, it was over. I tried. 18,640 points is a pretty decent run. So, yeah, that's it. That's Pac-Man World for the Sony PlayStation. 
There were other Pac-Man worlds. I believe there's two and three. I don't know if there was a fourth one. But either way, I had a great time playing this game despite its constant BS. I really enjoyed the challenge it gave me. So in any case, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you want to play this game, if you don't have a Sony PlayStation or a PS2 that plays PlayStation games, which they pretty much all do, you can get this on PlayStation Store. Hopefully, it uh, it's still up after it's been hacked recently, but I'm not going to get into that. So, see you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.